Hello friends, uh, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube video series. So we all know that in this playlist, right, uh, we are dedicatedly discussing about uh, various AWS troubleshooting scenarios. Of course, yes, I came up with another uh, AWS troubleshooting scenario today. So today, uh, this is going to be a seventh scenario in our playlist. Unable to push Docker image to AWS ECR. Yeah, of course, when I see people's comments, right, uh, my previous video, Many of them, right, would be interested to get uh, such videos with perspective of Docker and EKS and ECR kind of thing. So I'm planning to make the video on ECR and EKS for that troubleshooting as well. Okay, that is the reason as a first level, I've made the video for unable to push Docker image to my ECR. All right, this is the video uh, all about and this is the error message we're going to discuss about today's uh, uh, video okay so if i go back uh, troubleshoot your aws ecr issue it can be also call it as troubleshooting aws ecr issue or you know unable to push you know unable to push image docker image to aws ecr all right and third one error uh, cannot perform an uh, interactive login from a non-ttt device like these three different way we can you know uh, call this error and for all these issues right the solutions are going to be same First of all, you need to understand what is ECR. ECR is an elastic container registry, one of the inbuilt AWS uh, servers to manage all your Docker images. Okay, so uh, whether you can have a private, you know, image, you can keep it over here, and public images, you can keep it over here. So end of the day, uh, this ECR is going to help you to hold your images. All right. So fine. Uh, before uh, start troubleshooting the uh, things, I'll show you the setup and how our lab is going to be. Okay. I have one Docker host which I have already logged in uh, to this uh, Docker host where you will be able to see the uh, Docker installed. All my images are available. So if you go over here, right? Let me clear the screen and I'll give the command Docker images. When I give Docker images, I would be able to see uh, that there are you know, uh, close to four to five different images are available. In that, I'm gonna you know uh, transfer this uh, web app HD, this particular uh, image to my uh, AWS uh, ECR. Okay, that is my action plan. So apart from that, I have a uh, ECR. Right now, I are in Amazon Elastic Container Registry Service. Here, I have my uh, repository has been created. When I go inside of it, I do not have any image with me. So my action plan to push my image to this uh, repo. That is the uh, thing. Okay, when I am working on this, I'm not able to do, I'm getting some issues and things and stuff. Okay, uh, that is the reason I came here to troubleshoot it. Basically, uh, when you have, you know, your uh, repository, if you click on this, view push command here itself you will be able to see uh, there are lots of command what need to execute right that commands are given here already so you simply need to follow these commands when i copy this when i you know try to uh, log into my ecr i'm getting this error actually it's not you know allowing me to perform okay for this issue only we are going to troubleshoot now for the authentication and unable to push the image for this reason only we are going to discuss uh, various points uh, now all right Fine, guys. Now, in the part of unable to push Docker image to AWS ECR, the first point what we need to check, we need to check the IAM user has the proper permission, which means what? Uh, when you are authenticating to any IAM user, right, he will have some set of you know, permissions. Uh, it should be assigned properly. Okay. So, right now, I'm using AWS uh, ECR service account. Uh, I need to check whether the service account has this particular permission. If the service account has this particular permission, uh, this is Amazon AC2 container registry full access. If you have this permission only, then you will be able to push your image. So what I'll do, I'll go back to my AWS account. I'll go to IAM. This is the one and only user which I am using it for, you know, uh, long run. Uh, here I could see the respective permission has been already in place. Okay, this is the AWS managed policy for Amazon ec2 container registry full access uh, that permission right which has been already mapped to the uh, respective service account all right so point one right we are good similarly what i need to do point two check the iam user has the following permission why because when your ecr uh, service account authenticating for pushing your images there are something called sts get service bearer token there are specific set of permissions uh, for assuming the repository and pushing the image for authentication, 
this permission is very much mandatory so when i'm checking this permission it will not be available over here we can confirm it once if i go and expand here right we will not be able to see you know the respective sts related things you know which is not available so in that case what we need to do we need to add this sts related permission for that what i will do i'll click on add inline policy okay maybe this could be the issue go to json i'll remove this i have a document with me in that document right we have a set of policy let me copy this document i'll put it over here this document contains right this sts uh, barrier token this particular one is available so let me review the policy then i'll give name to the policy is c r yes yes permission something like that i'm adding name to that policy i'm again you know, adding this policy when i'm adding it right so i would able to see the sts barrier token this particular one automatically you know added into my device okay so fine so once i have done right what i will do i'll try to execute the command again okay i'll try to execute the command to authenticate so see still there is the same issue there is no improvement so what i can suggest so point one and point two is good even though we have provided amazon ec2 container registry full access permission still i'm facing the issue at the same time right when i'm doing sts get service bearer token that time also it's giving you a same issue now next point okay point number three what we are going to do check whether ecr registry is private or public we need to execute the commands accordingly okay when you take a ecr there are two category of uh, registries available repositories available is public one another one is private one so each repository is right the command will vary if suppose you have created a uh, public uh, repository you are trying with the private command also it will throw error or if suppose you have created a private repository you are trying with the public commands also it will throw you error so you need to make sure your your uh, repository in ecr whatever you have created right whether it is private or whether it is public that point you need to verify it okay how can we confirm it if you go back to your aws account so if you open that ecr service there are two category available when you come to ecr there are two category as of now in private there is no repository found okay uh, yeah we could confirm this repository currently present in uh, public one only so when i'm clicking uh, i'm trying with the correct command only so when i'm copying this ecr public get login token so i'm trying the same command only that command only giving me this error so point three also i have verified yeah i'm good with it. Uh, public and i am executing the proper command there is no problem in the command level all right fine guys these three points are we are good so before you know discussing about the fourth point so we are the person and people who are ready to provide aws and devops real-time project-based advanced training to each and every people so anybody you know uh, wanted to know about real project real infrastructure roles and responsibility of you know aws devops engineer anyone wanted to know right with very very affordable price you can reach out to this number we will definitely you know help you out in terms of providing training with a very affordable cost outside in youtube and udemy and other training institutes also providing training but just the they are you know concept based general theory oriented training but here live project based training if anyone want make use of this opportunity and come to you know my channel please do subscribe my channel so that regular basis you will get these kind of you know useful videos for you fine guys so first three points we have completed and i will to push docker image to aws ecr fourth point what i am telling you check the docker image names are properly tagged actually so why i am telling like that when you go to your uh, docker host when you are giving the command docker images we will be able to see uh, the respective uh, images actually we will be able to see the respective images uh, all the images right has its own name what we need to do we need to properly tag them after that i we need to try that out actually so what i'm trying to mean if you go there so this is what your uh, repository name is all about okay so what i will do there is a command called docker tag okay docker tag ht web app now this image you need to tag it like in this way okay so when you are adding the tag right uh once again okay guys so that is a you know uh, typo in the comment so what i have done i have just simply you know executed this command 
uh, as soon as I've executed this comment, right? Uh, so Docker tag, this is name of my image actually. So this is the name I used and I have updated with this, no, whatever the required name I've done. So now what I can do, I can give Docker push, you know, I can give Docker push this command. Before giving Docker push, I can even confirm it. You can clear screen now. You can give Docker images. Okay, so Docker push uh, the image. I can push it. Uh, let's check whether it is pushing to anywhere. So see, it's preparing and not authenticated. Still no, no, it has some problem. So even though you have updated the proper Docker uh, images name, still it has failing in authenticating state. So next step, what we can do, try with the proper access key and secret key because it's throwing the error says not, not authenticated. When I give AWS configure, right? When I give AWS configure, so see, it's asking for access key and secret key. So looks like, you know, we have not updated the proper access key, secret key. This is the access key. So first I'll copy, I'll provide this. Second one, I'll copy and provide this. Third one, I need to update the region name. All right. So region name is all about. Okay. This is what happening exactly. So now we will try to, uh, you know, execute the command and you copy this. Okay. We will. So again, same issue. There is no improvement. So even we'll try to push. Same, not authorized. Even though you provide proper access key and secret key, it has same uh, kind of failures only. So finally, what I can suggest is uh, go ahead and try to update AWS CLI version and try. Okay, what we will do, we'll try to upgrade the CLI version of AWS. Okay, we may try that, try for that. So I have a comment for updating my AWS CLI. So what I will do, let me copy this uh, URL. Oh, sorry, let me, uh, this here is the steps if you want to know. Uh, I'll go to my putty and uh, update it here. It's downloaded some packages and unzip. I'm going to unzip the packages. Then I'm going to give this command. All right. So now when I grant this command, it should be showing updated one. All right, my AWS CLI is currently available in this particular path. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this. I'll put it over here. Okay. So now what I will do, I'll go to my AWS console. I'll copy this. I'll update it over here. And yeah. So we can execute the comment now. We can execute the comment now. So go here. And we will, after updating the AWS CLI, We'll try to execute the command now. Yeah, it's showing now. Login succeed. It looks like it's working now. So what I will do, I'll run the command to push the image. Okay, Docker push command we have, right? Docker push. And I'm pushing the image. See, now it's not doing authentication problem. Now we are able to successfully push the image after troubleshooting six different you know, steps after checking all these different items. We are able to push the image so it depends upon the image size right it will take some time to push your image so we need to wait for you know a couple of minutes to complete this particular one once it successfully pushed it right we would be able to see in the aws uh, console see right now my image got pushed out so if i go over here just to go there and check inside of it you should be able to see a web app hd has been pushed just a few seconds ago okay five uh, one image got pushed so a few seconds ago it's pushed it okay so finally we would able to see uh, aws uh, you know cli version and we was not properly assigned access key and secret key and the image name was not properly tagged all these three is the reason uh, and also we didn't provide the sts permission all those four is the reason for this uh, error so when you got any issue related to you know unable to push your docker image to easier you need to check all these six points by the way any one point will help you to get the solution okay fine guys so uh, we all know that people anyone need any specific topic you know especially i am requesting you to share that topic in the uh, chat box i mean sorry in the comment section so accordingly i'll prepare a video and i'm strongly recommending people to share this video with your friends or your colleagues okay uh things and stuff your office group or something like that by the way right i'll get you know uh, more view count that will be helpful for me because i'm putting all this effort for you guys only 
small contribution you can give okay so that is what all about and as i told you already anyone need aws devops real time project based training do reach out to the, any one of this number our team will help you out okay thank you guys thanks for watching this video we will meet on next video with other useful content wish you all the best everyone thank you